What celebrity would you not be surprised to find out was a serial killer? Tom Cruise. My first thought. 2. I don't even think I would like to be alone in an elevator with that Mathurfriker. OJ Simpson. I am Norm Macdonald and I approve this message edit. Want to thank you guys for the Norm jokes. He is dearly missed. Kenneth Copeland. I know he's not exactly a mainstream celebrity but he is a televangelist so kind of a celebrity. He looks straight up demonic. He literally looks and acts exactly like you would expect a demon wearing a person's skin would. Tom Cruise. Mark Zuckerberg. Jared Leto. I think Zuck would outsource his killing. Actual cannibal Sheila Lebiaf. Wasn't he decapitated by a one-footed guy? Jeff Bezos with the I love you my alive girl text. What an ever living freak. There's no way that's. Be right back googling. Okay. Yeah. It's real. For anyone wondering. Calling you a live girl is how Bezo sexts. Presumably so at some point after your corpse is disposed via drones after being minced he can text your number love you dead girl xoxo. You know. For the contrast. For clarity. Organizational purposes. Mayhaps. There is no doubt in my mind that Jeff Bezos hunts humans for sport on a private island. Not a shred of doubt. Come on Jeffrey. That cannibal guy army hammer or whatever. This is the answer. He jerks it to the thought of eating people. Kevin Spacey. A bunch of the people who outed him are dead now if I remember correctly edit. Apparently three accusers died alone in 2019. Article about one of them. He also released that freaking weird Christmas video where he was kinder in character as Frank. And he basically threatened to out a heap of people. People keep saying names that aren't Steven Seagal. That Dumbus would get himself caught immediately edit while I have everyone's attention. Jared Leto. Each murder would be a ritual sacrifice of one of his cultists to extend his lifespan for sure. Mark Zuckerberg. That lifeless face. That wealth of personal information. That series of scores to settle with pretty much everyone who has ever questioned his personal habits and inability to function like a human. That series of scores to settle which now includes UBTW. Not quite a serial killer but I'm thinking Drake is going to be named by R. Kelly. Drake is at minimum a creep. Where are the bodies Garth? You just lost your life bud. So basically it seems Reddit would be surprised if Tom Cruise wasn't a serial killer. And Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Before the sexual assault stuff came out. Tom Cruise. Ellen. It's the always unsmiling eyes to go with the extremely fake smile. Isn't it? Joe Losteen. He has the smile of someone with a pile of bodies buried in the backyard of his McMansion. Does royalty count? If so. Prince Andrew or Prince Charles. Ran with Epstein. Was at the island. The late Prince Philip certainly believed the world was overpopulated and once said that if reincarnation was real, he hoped he would come back as a deadly virus. Gwyneth Paltrow. Quentin Tarantino obviously. I don't know if this would qualify him as a serial killer. But would anyone be surprised if it turned out that Elon Musk hunted his childhood bullies on a private preserve for sport? Or has everybody forgotten Shia LaBeouf already? Actual cannibal. Shia LaBeouf? Owen Wilson. God can you imagine being strangled to death and as the last bits of consciousness fade away and your sight gets dim the last thing you just hear is. Whoa. I kind of want to see a horror movie thriller with Owen Wilson playing the bad guy now. Doctor. Phil. He's certainly the biggest asshole. Source. Wife worked for him. Jared Leto. Look the guy just. I don't know he gives off the vibe of somebody who is in constant danger of being exposed for being a felon. He has a weird energy. I dunno. Jared Leto feels more like that one kid at high school who really wants to have serial killer vibes. Tom Cruise. Remember to sort by controversial so we can find the true serial killers. Garth Brooks. I fully believe he has already killed multiple people. Where are the bodies? Gee, the families need closure. I think you're thinking of Chris Gaines. Chris Jenner. Sacrificing people to some deity to achieve her family fame and fortune empire. Dear Chris. I'm kidding. Don't cease and desist me. Or sacrifice me please. Wouldn't be surprised if Jared Leto is the modern day Charles Manson. Travolta. Army Hammer. How have I not seen his name mentioned yet? Alleged cannibal. Alleged. Nonetheless. Too bad to cause I enjoy his work. Betty White. She used the souls of her victims to keep her alive for centuries. Worked on two Jim Caviezel projects. Dude was nice as frick but he weirded me out. Andy Duck. Jared Leto. 
Robin Thick IDKY but he seriously creeps me the frick out. 1. Crispin Glover. Actually in real life. When he's not playing a character to get the public to leave him alone. Sean Penn. Eric Clapton. Think about it. Hendrix is a rising star. Set to overtake Clapton as the goat. Then he dies shortly after befriending an initially very jealous Clapton. SRV starts ripping Hendrix songs and people are saying he'll be the next Jimmy. Then Clapton lets him use his helicopter and he dies. Skinner start rocketing up the charts. Plane crash. Mostly dead. Dwayne Allman won't let Clapton join the Allman brothers. Dead. He's a goddamn murderer. Oprah Winfrey you get stabbed. And you get stabbed. And you get stabbed. Everybody gets stabbed. Amber Heard. She's too psychotic. Mark Zuckerberg for sure. Christopher Walken. James Franco. Matt Lower. Shaves his head to avoid leaving DNA. Steven Seagal. For obvious reasons. Charlie Sheen. Jeff Bezos. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Carrot Top. Ryan Reynolds. Hear me out. Serial killers are usually who you would least see doing it. But if you took a step back, could totally see taking a life. And he strikes me as a guy that would do it and keep that witty charm and smile up while he did it. Like I don't think he would even feel it. Just more one-liners and banter. 1000%. Tom Cruise. He's a freaking psycho I can just tell. You guys are misunderstanding serial killers. They are not usually creepy. Most often they're charismatic and nice. They attract people. So my answer would be Tom Hanks. I came into this thread expecting the number one answer to be Tom Cruise and the number two answer to be Shia LeBeouf. I was not too disappointed. Nicolas Cage. Gary Busy or James Woods. Michael C. Hall. James freaking Spader. The Lizard King. Tom Cruise. Gary Busey. He looks unstable. Sure Lebauf and or Jared Leto. Mel Gibson. Why has no one said David Dobrik? Really surprised to not see Mel Gibson here. He has a gore fetish and definitely hates a bunch of people. Don Cheadle. Because he is such a handsome and likable guy that he could probably joke about chopping people up and people would just be like oh Don. Kurt Cameron. Guy is a part of a cult type religion that states the reason why we're having storms and wildfires and even illnesses is because women refuse to be subservient to their husbands. Ted Cruz and Mark Zuckerberg some have said Ted Cruz might be the Zodiac killer. Ted Bundy. There's just something about him. Toby Maguire. Read about Player X in Molly's game. It won't be someone obvious. It will be someone considered sweet and wholesome who donates to charities. Trump. Joe Losteen. That dude is creepy as frick. Cardi B. Chip Gaines. 1000x Chip Gaines. Matt Gates. Steve Bannon. Marilyn Manson honestly gives me serial killer vibes. Surprised I haven't seen him yet. Rosa Pike. Come on. She looks the part. Jack Nicholson. Elijah Wood. He really sold it in Sin City. John Travolta. That man gives me the creeps. Thinking face. Seenfield serial killer.